guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 2 Lesson 3 homework. So let's get started. Number 1. Complete the conversion table. Alright, so 1 liter equals 1,000 milliliter. So then 8 liters equals 8 times 1,000 is 8,000. So 8,000 milliliters. But now when we have 27 liters, 27 times 1,000 is 27,000. So we have, 20, we have 27,000 milliliters. And now we don't know how many liters there are, but we do know there's 39,000 milliliters. So we just divide that by 1,000, which is 39, and then that's how much liters we have. All right, and then 68 would go to 68,000. And then 102,000 divided by 1,000 would give us 102 liters. All right, number two, convert the measurements. All right, so A, we have five liters, 850 milliliters. We're converting it to milliliters. So we already know how many milliliters there are, but we want to find out how many liters are in the, how many milliliters are in the five liters. Well, five liters, it's five times a thousand, which is five thousand. So we have five thousand milliliters plus the eight hundred fifty milliliters. So that's oh eight hundred fifty. So we have five thousand eight hundred fifty milliliters. Or ml. All right, number B. Twenty nine liters. So twenty nine times one thousand is twenty nine thousand. And we already know there's 303 milliliters, so we just write that after 29. All right, and C, we have 37 liters. 37 liters is 37,000. And then 37 milliliters, so that's, we just add 37 here. All right, and D, 17 liters, 2 milliliters. 17 times 1,000 is 17,000. And then we just add the two milliliters. All right, E, 13,674 milliliters. If we divide that by 1,000, then we have 13. So that means we have 13 liters and 674 milliliters. And if we want to convert that back to milliliters, 13 times 1,000 is 13,000. And 674, because that's already milliliters milliliters. All right, in F, we have 275,005 milliliters. Divide by 1,000, that's 275 liters and 5 milliliters. All right, and number three, solve. All right, so A, we have 545 milliliters plus 48 milliliters. So here we don't have to convert anything because they're already both converted into milliliters. So 544, 5 plus 48, 5 plus 8 is 13, 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9, and 5, bring it down. So our answer is 593 milliliters. All right, and B, 8 liters is the same as 8,000 milliliters. So we have 8,000 minus 5,000. 740. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 4, borrow 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. 9 minus 7 is 2. And 7 minus 5 is 2. So our answer is 2,260 milliliters. All right, and C, express the answer in the smaller unit. So the small unit is milliliters. So 27 liters. Um, 576 milliliters, 27 times 1,000 is 27,000, and we just add the 576 milliliters. And we're adding 700, oh, 784 milliliters. 6 plus 4 is 10, 7 plus 8 is 15, plus 1 is 16, 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 1 is 13, 7 plus 1 is 8, and 2 plus blank blank is just 2. So our answer is 28,360 um, milliliters. All right, and 
in D, um, express the answer in the smaller unit again. So 27 liters times 1,000 would just be 27,000 liters. And then plus 3,100 milliliters. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero is also zero. Zero plus one is one. Seven plus three is 10. And two plus one is three. So our answer is 30,100 milliliters. Or in E, um, express the answer in mixed digits. So mixed digit is basically like that, 27 liters plus, like, you know, like 27 liters, 576 milliliters. So, all right, we have first nine liters, 213 milliliters. Let's convert this into grams first. So that's the same as, that's 9,213 milliliters. Did I, did I just say grams? Minus 638 milliliters. So three minus eight, let's borrow 10. All right, so we have one. 13 minus eight is five. Zero minus three. Comes 10 minus 3 is 7. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. 3 minus 8. Borrow 10. 13 minus 8 is 5. 10 minus 3 is 7. And then now we have 1 minus 6, borrow 10. 11 minus 6 is 5. And 9, we just put it here. So our answer is 8,575, but we're not done yet because we have to convert it into kilograms again. So then if we divide by 1,000, then we get 8 um, liters. My, did I just say kilograms? I keep saying kilograms. Because we have 8 liters and then 575 milliliters. So that would be our answer. Our F, express the answer in mixed units again. So 41 liters, 724 milliliters. So that is 41,724 milliliters minus 28 liters, that's 28,945 milliliters. Four minus five, about 10. 14 minus five is nine. One minus four, about 10. 11 minus four is seven. 6 minus 9 becomes 16 minus 9, which is 7. 0 minus 8, borrowed 10. 10 minus 8 is 2, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So our answer is 12,779. But we're not done yet. We have to convert it back into kilograms. So divide by 1,000, we have 12 oh my God, milliliters, 779 wait, milliliters. So 12 liters, oh my god, okay. So yeah. All right, next. All right, next page. Use a tape diagram to model each problem. Solve using a simplifying strategy or an algorithm and write your answer as a statement. All right, so number four, Sammy's bucket holds 2,530 millimeter milliliters of water mary marie's bucket holds two liters 30 milliliters of water katie's bucket holds two liters 350 milliliters of water whose bucket holds the least amount of water all right so let's convert this all to milliliters so s is sammy do a tape diagram holds 2530 milliliters and now M for Marie, it's two liters, let's see, two liters, 30 milliliters, two times a thousand is 2,000, plus 30 is 2,030. So this is how much Marie water is. And then now Katie, K for Katie, holds two liters, that's 2,350. So this is how much hers holds. So then the least bucket would be, the least wa amount of water would be Marie because hers is like not even in the hundredth place. Like it's at 2,030 milliliters. So Marie bucket 
holds the least amount of water. All right, and number five, at, a foot, at football practice, the water jug was filled with 18 liters, 530 milliliters of water. At the end of practice, there were 795 milliliters left. How much water did the team drink? All right, so let's see, our tape diagram, there was a total of 18 liters, 530 milliliters. So that's 18,530 milliliters at first. And then at the end of practice, there's only 795 milliliters left. So then how much did the team drink? So let's subtract 18,530 minus 795. Zero minus five, borrow 10. 10 minus five is five. Two minus nine, borrow 10. So it's 12 minus nine, which is three. And then four minus seven, borrow 10. 14 minus seven is seven. And then um, seven, we just leave it. So our answer is 17,735, which means the team drinks, the team drank, 17,735 milliliters of water. Oh, yeah. All right, number six. 27,545 milliliters of gas were added to a car's empty gas tank. If the gas tank's capacity is 56 liters, 202 milliliters, how much gas is needed to fill the tank? All right, let's do a tape diagram. So the total capacity of the gas tank is 56 liters, 202 milliliters, which is 56,202 milliliters. And right now, so far in the tank, we have 27,545 milliliters. So how much gas is needed to fill the tank? So how much more gas do we, gas do we have to put in before the tank gets full? So what we can do is subtract 56,202 minus 27,545. 2 minus 5, borrow 10. 12 minus 5 is 7. 9 minus 4 is 5. 1 minus 5. 11 minus 5 is 6. 5 minus 7, borrow 10. 15 minus 7 is 8, and 4 minus 2 is 2. So the answer is 28,657. So that means 28,657 milliliters are needed to fill the tank. So yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!